Are you obsessing with problems or are you standing on the promises? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Well, a lot of people obsess with things around them. They study all the problems. They look at all the horrible things that are going on in the world, and that's where their focus is all of the time. You know, honestly, it wears me out. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. You know, some people have news on 24 hours a day. Some people read the newspapers over and over again. They peruse the, the internet to find out all the bad things that are happening, and then they obsess over them. You know, when I was growing up, we used to sing a song called Standing on the Promises of God, a great hymn. And our pastor used to used to uh, uh, joke about the song and say, you know, we're standing on the promises, not sitting on the premises. <laughs> we're not just sitting around. We're standing on promises. And, you know, it's really true. God gave us all kinds of possibilities for the future. I'm not stuck because of things that are happening around me in the world. My life doesn't end because the news doesn't appeal to me or that it, you know, it's gloom and doom, and sometimes it is. But I don't live in that kind of world. The Bible says, honestly, as a Christian, I'm just passing through. And if I get so absorbed with the problems all around me, then I don't see the promises that he gave me. And so our choice today is this. Do you stand on the promises or do you continue to just see problems? Some of you really need a change. Some of you really need to begin to focus differently. You know, I have all kinds of people that, that, uh, that comment on all of my Facebook pages. And I'm just about to add page number five. Wish Facebook would lift its friends limit. But um, there are so many people that just, the only thing they post is all the bad things that are happening. Did you know this horrible thing that was happening? Did you know this horrible thing? And, and uh, it seems like their whole obsession is just all the rotten things that are going on in the world around us. And, you know, it's nothing new. It's always been the case. We just have more news and news is reported. But... You know, Jesus said you'll always have wars and rumors of wars. There will always be problems around you. But he said, take heart. I've overcome the world. That's our first clue. He's overcome the world. That's where he stands. Secondly, he says, not only have I overcome the world, but I've given you the Holy Spirit. And I've given you promises. And I've given you um, some things to look forward to. You don't have to look at gloom and doom every day and feel defeated. As a Christian, you have promises to stand on that are eternal. And that's pretty, pretty exciting. And so sort through all of those things. And when you have that filter on you, when you have those promises, and those promises are in your head and those promises are on your mind, well, then you begin to filter all the other things in the world and they don't wipe you out because you have a much better foundation. So once again, where is your focus? On the promises or the problems? Let's focus on promises. God bless you. Have a great day.